Hey guys, it's Cody with Mainstream. I wanted to go over uh, the load delta between like a code build building and then a passive house building. And so to do that, I just want to go with the dryer. There's no difference. With the range hood or range, there's no difference. With the refrigerator, there's no difference. With heating and cooling system, if every house has an air conditioner, you're actually going to gain one leg. So you'll save compared to a code-built building because we're eliminating the furnace, which the blower on a furnace is on a 120, 20-amp circuit or 30-amp circuit. Um, then you go down to the bathrooms. Here's where we're seeing the extra load from an ERV that's 240 volts at 15 amps. You go to the kitchen. There's no difference between the rain hood. And in the domestic hot water, uh, a normal gas tank will have a dedicated 120, 20 amp or 30 amp. And we're actually going to need that other, we're going to add that branch back in. So this increase to a heat pump, it doesn't take much more because you're adding back in the leg that you saved from your heater blower. So between the two of those, your domestic hot water at 240 volts 40 amps doesn't add anything so the only thing you're adding to a normal house bread and butter house 1100 square feet ish or whatever code versus passive house is going to be that erv load um, which also solves all the indoor air quality problems uh, the radon issues um, and on and on but that's the quick of it and i hope you have some feedback for me in case I misunderstood this. Thanks a lot.